In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, multiplying monomials and binomials using algebra tiles. You won't see the algebra tiles until the second page. Because I'm going to talk about uh, an area model first here. So I can model the uh, area of this uh, rectangle by making, uh, and let's, uh, what I'm trying to model here is that what 6 times 10 is. So if I make a rectangle with one dimension 6 and the other one 10, the uh, area of a rectangle is length times width. So multiplying 6 by 10 gives me my area. If you want to see the area a little bit more clearly, we could divide this into 10 units this way and 6 units this way. And if you want to count, you can count that there are 60 of those blocks. So the area of this should be 60. So uh, so we're, we're modeling the area of a rectangle. Okay, uh, or sorry, we're modeling uh, a product with an area of a rectangle. And so that's what we're doing with algebra tiles. And these are the algebra tiles I referred to. So there's um, three different kinds, and there's also positive and negative. So there's actually kind of six different ones. So this is a one by one square. So this is my little one. Uh, this is an X long rectangle. Um, it's actually, it's again, area. Uh, it's one this way by x this way, so 1 times x is x. And you can write it like this, horizontally or vertically, depending on the diagram, you need one or the other. Uh, this is an x, this represents, this square represents x squared, because it's an x by x rectangle. Remember, x times x gives you x squared. And then the, these are their opposites. So if that's 1, this is negative 1. If that's x, this is negative x or negative x, and this is negative x squared. So uh, I'm using, um, uh, red here to represent negative. I could use any color I want. There's no particular reason I'm using red other than the uh, application that I modeled this after used red. Okay, so that's the only reason red is, uh, is used for the negatives. That's actually the opposite convention for electricity because in electricity red is positive and black is negative. So, uh, you know, that's just what we're using here. So we're going to take a look at four expansions. And the first two are a monomial times a binomial, monomial times a binomial. And then we'll take a look at the product of two binomials. So the way we model this is we create, create a rectangle, or it could be a square, but usually it's a rectangle, uh, with these dimensions. So for example, x is uh, 1, so I could use this or this. I'm going to put the first product on this side and the second one across the top. If you want to change it around, doesn't matter. You end up with exactly the same terms, doesn't matter. So, so this is the way we actually model it. So this is my x dimension on this side of the rectangle I'm going to make. And I'm going to go x plus 1 across the top. So here's my x, and then plus 1, I would take a, a 1 and put a 1 here after it. So this is x plus 1, and this dimension would be x here. So what fills this? Well, what fills this, this would be an x squared square. And then this area right here is 1 by x. So one of these x's would go in there. So that fills that rectangle. So you see, the, so the product is x squared plus x. So these terms uh, are represented by the algebraic quantities x squared and x. And if you um, eventually you won't be using algebra tiles all the time. So algebraically what we do is this. If we multiply x by x, that gives us x squared. And x times 1 gives us x here. So that's how we algebraically do it. The reason this is squared is because it's two x's multiplied. So you've actually got an x to the first multiplied by another x to the first. 1 and 1 is 2. That's why there's 2 there. OK, next one down here, 2x times x minus 3. So 2x, I'm going to put 2x's down here. And then across the top, I'm going to put, top, I'm going to put x minus 3. So there's my x. Now minus 3 would be 3 of these. So we'll put 3 of those there. So 2x here along x minus 3 across the top. So to fill this and this, we'd have two of those x squareds. Now, all of these uh, spaces here, areas here, would be uh, an x long by negative 1 wide. And so we're multiplying a positive by negative, so that's why we'd have the negative x's in here. So they would all be negative x's. So the product 
of 2x times x minus 3 is, see this is 2x squared, and this would be minus 6x. And so again, algebraically what we would do is if you multiply 2x by x, you get this 2x squared term, and then a, a phrase you'll hear too in multiplying this is distribute. We distribute the 2x in and also multiply it by the negative 3. Distribute means the same as to multiply that into the brackets. 2x times negative 3 is the minus 6x here. So again, you can see 2x squared are these uh, 2x squareds here, and the minus 6x is all of this here. doesn't really help to outline red with red, does it? Let's get rid of all that. Okay. So, uh, the first binomial product, 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. So, 2x plus 1, I'm going to put down the side here. So, 2x plus a 1, and then x minus 2 across the top. So, x and then minus 2. So, what fills this? See, this would be one of those positive x squareds, and same here. Um, so, the product starts with a 2x squared. So, that comes multiplying 2x by x. So, I'm expanding... 2x times x, that gives the x squared. Now, we're going to fill this area next. So, see, each of these would be a negative 1 times an x long, so that's why each of these are negative x's. And that actually comes from multiplying 2x by negative 2. That gives negative 4x. And then we're going to fill in this next. So this is a single positive x because it's a positive 1 by a positive x long. So that comes from multiplying 1 by x, so that's a 1x. And then this would be, so each of these is a negative 1 times a positive 1, so that's why there's negative 2 here. And that comes from multiplying the 1 by the negative 2, so that's negative 2. Now, there's two like terms here in the middle. There weren't any like terms over here to combine, to add together, or subtract. But these are the like terms. And because you see, this is an x, and that's a negative x. So they're like terms, even though they're oriented differently. And basically, it kind of looks like this. You see, this guy here would cancel out with one of these. Again, my, my red. So you see that, and this would add to 0. So then there's really just three left here. There's, there's this one and the two up here. That's actually just adding integers. Because you see negative 4x plus x is negative 3x. Okay, so that's why that adds to negative 3x. So last one down here uh, for d, 3x plus 2. So we'll put 3x plus 2 here. And then 2x minus 4 across the top. And we'll start filling this up. See, all these would be x squareds. So that comes from multiplying the 3x by the 2x. That's 6x squared. So there's 6 of these x squareds. Over here, this is negative 4 times 3x. This is 3x long times negative 4. So there's going to be 12 negative x's here. And that comes algebraically from multiplying 3x by negative 4 to give us negative 12x. This area right here, it's 2x times 2. So there should be 4 of these x's here. And that comes algebraically from multiplying this 2 by this 2x. So that's a 4x. And then on the end here, see this is negative 4 times positive 2. So that's going to be, there's going to be 8 negatives there. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And again, we have some like terms here. Um, here, I, I grabbed a different color from my pen here. So, you see, these four would add to zero with four of these. So, all of that's zero. So, for the x's, this is what's left. So, there's eight negatives left, and that's why this adds to negative 8x, because negative 12x plus 4x is negative 8x. So that's how you can model uh, multiplying monomials, binomials by uh, using algebra tiles and how it corresponds to or connects to the algebraic representation. Then. And the algebra, of course, is just multiplying these together, like 3x times 2x is 6x squared, etc. And that's the end of the tutorial. tutorial.